My BJJ blood work indicated I may be B12 or B9 deficient. I started taking a supplement. Postprandial numbers improved drastically. Need more data as some could be co-founders. That's one thing I would be worried about too, BJJ. However, a meta-analysis study showed that imp in MET syndrome, I think something about people with metabolic syndrome and B12 or B9 supplementation. Ashok et al, 2021. Have you seen a B12 or B9 deficiency correlate with IR? Yes and no. It's something that we look at. We look at that on our routine screening, but the major focus for us is screening for potential damage from prediabetes or diabetes. Diabetes. Especially as you get older, you can get vitamin B12 deficient. Most folks don't know it when they're getting it. And unfortunately, like most preventable things, they find out by beginning to notice that they've got nerve problems, neuropathy. Now on the causation side, yes, there's a little bit of causation implied with inflammation. If you've never heard of the concept of poor methylation, you can look it up. We've got several videos on it. One of the major things that causes humans to be able to burn energy is the fact that we use oxygen. You know, you combine oxygen with carbon sources and you get carbon dioxide and water and energy. So a typical fungus will get six energy units out of a sugar, let's say. Humans, on the other hand, will get 36 units of energy. That's because we use oxygen and the fungus doesn't. So it's a big deal. But, you know, just like everything else in life, sometimes the things that give us our biggest strengths also give us our biggest weakness and that are a big weakness. And that's the issue with us. Have you ever heard of antioxidants? Vitamins A, C, and E, they're known as the antioxidants, it's a multi-billion dollar industry. It's always better if the body has a way of dealing with something to use the body's way of dealing with it. And the body does, instead of adding a hydrogen back, what we call reduction, to neutralize oxidation, the body adds a methyl group back. And that's why it's called methylation. So the body has a way of preventing oxidation. Oxidation, major source of cardiovascular inflammation. So why not just use the body's way of doing it? Well, if the body's way is better, what's the problem here? It's genetics. So there are several different genetic versions of methylation and people with poor methylation. Over half of us have one of three major common genetic problems which cause methylation issues. Now, what has that got to do with my BJJ's comment about vitamins B12 and B9 and diabetes or prediabetes? So it turns out that the body's major methods of methylation depend on vitamin B pools. So, you know, if you have this problem, you could go in and you could get some genetic testing. I used to work with a human genetics lab, so I got mine. That's how I know that I've got those genetic variants. But you don't have to work at a human genetics lab. You really don't even have to get the genetic testing. If you've had elevated homocysteine several times, there's a very strong probability that you're a poor methylator as well. Because again, over half of us are. And do you need to pay several hundred dollars to get genetic testing? Testing? No, you really don't. All you have to do is get a vitamin B complex with methyl groups. This is known information. The supplement industry has responded to it. And so, yeah, buy vitamins A, C, and E to get B antioxidant, or you could do something far more effective. And that is get a methylated vitamin B complex. They're all over the internet. Go to Amazon. All your major high quality supplement providers have those.